Hey second graders, Miss Gildard here. I wanted to talk a little about a new game that you guys are going to be playing as part of your reading in my learning this week called Smarty Ants. So I've got my Pasco Connect pulled up. You notice I actually have two Smarty Ants apps in mine, but you'll only have one. This is the one for students. And if you click on that through the um, My Pasco Connect, it's going to, uh, or it should, automatically log you in. So I'm gonna click here and you are gonna see, um, it should probably only give you this option for yourself when you log in, but if it does give you both, you wanna click on the one that uh, says Language Arts Grade 2. Um, and this app, Smarty Ants, is a really fun way to practice some reading skills. It's gonna practice some phonics, some spelling patterns, it's gonna have you read through some stories, and it's really, really fun. I think you're gonna like it a lot. Select the ant you want to play with. So I'm. Um, you see how we've got the whole class here. Um, you only want to click on yourself. You want to click on your own ants only. So I'm actually going to play as this ant right here, whose name is Smarty. This is a test ant on the teacher version. Um, so I'm going to play as Smarty. You'll play as yourself. Click on the Start Game button to enter the Smarty Ants Reading World. Okay. So I'm going to click Start Game. And if you notice, this is the ant world that you're going to see when you first log in. Welcome. You must be the new smarty ant in town. That's me. I'm Coach. Oh, boy. The ants are going to be so excited to meet you. Awesome. They've been running around like crazy to make sure everything is ready when you walk through this gate. <laughs> Want to know what to expect? Well, first you'll meet a good friend of mine, Flea. Flea will help show you how to play all the games. That's right. I'm on it, Coach. So I just skipped through a little bit there. Reading. So here's me. Oh, I just went away. <laughs> you can always click on the green arrow button. That's right here. And you'll see my little ant. And my name's Smarty with Welcome a little star is out right park. here. See? It's so That's me. fun to have a dog. Would you like one of your own? Yes. Yes, please. Here mm -hmm. are the dogs you can choose from. Don't worry, all the dogs will be adopted by loving owners. So just pick the one you like best. So I turned the volume down a little bit so that I, I can explain to you. So in the game, your little ant person, which this is mine right here, little smarty, um, you'll have one that says your name above your ant. Uh, you get to have a little dog friend who's gonna go through the game with you. And you're gonna just choose whichever one of these little doggies looks the best to you. It does not matter which dog you choose. Now, because I have a little Maltese, who a lot of you guys have seen, and she's all white, I am going to choose the little white dog right here. And once you click on it, that's it. That's your dog. So think about it before you click. Oh, there's my friend. Oh, that puppy sure loves you. You two will be pals for life. That's right. Pals for life. Sort of like me and you, coach. That's right, Flea. Level check. This is a test. Take your time and listen carefully. So I turned the volume down so I could explain this to you. This will only happen the first time that you log in. This is initial assessment. And this is just a little pre-check. They're going to ask you some questions and you're going to just answer the best you can. And then that will say what skills you need to work on in the game. So you want to do the initial assessment by yourself. You don't want to have a parent or an older sibling help you out because then it might place you too high and then you won't be able to do the other activities on your own. So the initial assessment you want to do all by yourself and it's not a test that's graded. Um, it doesn't matter how you do or what your score is. It's not going to be a reading grade. This is just for fun so that the game knows what skills to work on and what things to have you start with first. So I'm going to click the little check. Seven. Words with the letter R take you to the 
Now you're not gonna have this every time. You are only gonna have this the first time you log in. Once you do the initial assessment once, you won't need to do it again. In the future, when you log on to the game, it'll just take you right to the games and activities you left off on. Click on the word corn. See how I didn't hear him? So I clicked on him to have him repeat himself? Click on the word corn. Corn. Woo! There you go. <laughs> Click on the word swirl. 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 Er, er, er. Swirl. There we go. Okay, so this is pretty easy, not too hard. Again, it's just practice to, so that the game knows what level you uh, need to start in at. So I'm going to go through here. Okay, so I finished my initial assessment. This is where it's gonna take me now. Now, just so you know, it might take you, um, well, actually, let's go through the Smarty Store first. This is where you can buy outfits with coins that you earn in the game for your aunt. Get you started. Pick the one you like best. Oh, let's see. Now, we'll go with that the one. buy button when you found the outfit you want to keep. Good choice. You look great. <laughs> All right, so my page is loading. We're ready to build a new book. So this is what I wanted to talk about. Um, depending on your initial assessment, it's going to take you to a different game. Now, this is the game it took me to. Your game might not look like this, and that's okay. Smarty Ants has lots and lots and lots of different games and activities for you to play, depending on um, what you need to practice and where you left off in the program. So this is the game that it took me to first. Yours might have been a different game. Um, I know there's a snowboarding game and there's a game where rocks fall on you. There's a lot of different games. So I'm going to turn my volume back up so you can hear how to play this game. Sing. And ring. Clang, clang, clang. Now let's practice the letter combination I-N-G which makes the sound ing, as in king. Sing. So you see how my ant coach is giving me a short little lesson that's letting me know what I'm gonna be practicing in my game. So I'm gonna go ahead through to the game now. Ooh boy. This says game of the day. And I have some other different games that I can actually click on. You know, since I was just talking about the snowboarding one, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the snowboarding one here. You can choose any of those games. I just like the snowboarding one. Let's get warmed up. Here come the learning clouds. Let's check them out. Can you pump these letters, which make the sound ing? Remember, each time you click on the pump, you'll pump the sound into the letters. Let's make the ing. Sound All right, again. ready? Here we go. Ing. I'm just clicking on it, or if you're on a tablet or a phone, you're going to tap on it. Ing. 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 Ooh, it's getting bigger. Ing. Ing. Good job. Let's look at the next cloud. All right. Can you pump these letters? Which Let's All right, so let's go ahead and start snowboarding. These letters, which may fall. Fall. Now take a look at the last cloud. Can you pump it? Warm up time. Don't forget, if you want to skip, just click the green arrow. Find the letters that make the sound ing. Ing. Oh boy. Okay. Ing. Uh, I'm going to click this one. Yes. yes. That was easy. They all said ing. See how it follows ing. my cursor, or if you're on a tablet, it's going to be your finger. I'm going to click this one. Woohoo! See, I'm moving my little ant around. Oop, jumped over a little pile of snow there. Ing. Yep. Find the letters that make the sound. Ing. Ooh, okay. See how this is an easy warm-up. Man, I'm impressed. Find the letters that make the sound. All right, now here's the game. Now this is easy, medium, hard. 
Amazing. Now, depending on how good you are at this kind of video game and how you did on the warm up, you can decide it doesn't matter which one you click on, they are all going to still practice the same skill and they're all going to be the same game. They're just going to be different versions. So I'm going to click on the one in the middle. I'm going to click on medium. Me medium. Now it's game time. All right. This, one this one's for real. I'll say a letter sound and you jump on the letter that makes that sound. You'll win the letter sound. When you get it right three times in a row. Ooh. If you ever want to hear the question again, just click on me. If you win all the letter sounds before the time runs out, you win a Smarty Coin. Flea is always around if you need him. Find the letters that make the sound. Ing. Ing. Okay. Oh, ing, ing. Oh, this is ing. Ooh, I almost didn't get that. letters that make the sound. Ung. Ung. Uh, uh, ung. Okay. It's the middle one. Goodness. Ing. Oh no! Find the letters that make the sound. Ing. That's what happens if you don't click in time or if you click on the wrong one. So here's ing. ing. Yes. That's it. Don't let up. Find the letters that make the sound. Ong. Are you Oops. sure you want to log in? Oh goodness. Ong. Tried to log me out. Make the sound. Ing. Ing. Yes. Ing. Woo! -hoo. Find the letters that make the sound. <laughs> Ang. Oh my gosh. Ang. Yeah. This in the bag. Find the letters that make Okay, so I've paused the game. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction to Smarty Ants because your pacing guide now says that um, a couple of days every week you should go and play the Smarty Ants, uh, Smarty, Smarty Ants game. And again, you just go through my Pasco Connect. If you have any trouble logging in, you can post a question in the discussion post in my learning or you can have your parents uh, send me a message in Class Dojo, and I'll try to help you out. I'm going to be checking on my end from the teacher Smarty Ants app to see how often you're going on Smarty Ants, um, how much progress you're making, what games you're playing, how much time you're spending on there. So I'll get to see all of those things on my end too. So make sure that you're doing this as part of your ELA and reading lessons for the week. So this week, there are three different days that they recommend going on Smarty Ants and each day for at least 20 minutes. You don't need to go on it all day, but it's fun, so you might want to. And as you level up and you get more coins, you can buy more outfits for your aunt and you win medals and it's really fun. I think you guys are really going to like it. So let me know or have your parents let me know on Class Dojo if you guys are playing Smart Ants because I want to know all about it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.